Hello fellow Chiefs, this is Catching Fire 3 with some more Ko Kokoro no Doki Doki Senpai. And I just wanted to do some more of this, maybe a series of it. Who knows, I don't. I go eat lunch, not Captain Crunch this time. More class. I rub one out when Emo-kun isn't around. I'm sleepy now, so now I'm going to sleep. Of course, well, you're sleepy, you just, I don't know. This is getting repetitive. I tell Mokri Chen about what happens to me when I eat Cap'n Crunch. She makes me eat some on a dare. I do it because she probably thinks I'm a pussy ass bitch and also because I still yearn for her pantsuit. My tummy hurts but I don't uncontrollably sh uncontrollably shit. Uncontrollably shit. Oh my god. This is a good sign. What the hell am I even learning in this class anyway? Apparently not much because I've never I never seem to have homework. I watched the newest episode of Nerdish or Putin instead. I momentarily question what I'm doing with my life. It did say at the end of the last video that I could should just skip through most of this. So uh, I, for a moment, I feel like I might I. I feel like I uh, might be a homophobic, misogynistic creep, but I shrug off the thought. I realize I don't care about anything and snuggle into my Sakura body pillow. If I wasn't stupid before taking learning from mental defectives, I think I am now. All I do all day every day is listen to Sensei Sensei rant and then I color in my coloring book. Sensei Sensei is very impressed by my ability to stay within the lines. I never really thought of myself as an artist, but now I'm kind of a boss at it. Oh, Jesus, you know, art. I feel like I'm... Okay, hold on. I try to refrain from cackling like a silly bitch. Since I don't have any homework or any schoolwork of any kind for that matter, I figure I will devise a plan to acquire Moki Chan's pants. Ooh, finally, I think the uh, stuff is done. I try to think of a diabolical scheme, but I can't really. It's hard for me to work on an empty stomach. You would think that being in direct contact with Moguchan would make it easier for me to devise a scheme, a scheme to nab her pantsu. But not only does it make it hard to concentrate, it makes me want to aim higher. Why just acquire her pantsu when I can acquire her vagina? Jesus Christ. Does that sound creepy? Am I a creepy guy? Yes, you're a creepy guy and it does sound creepy. Hmm. Nah. I have decided to name the project the Mocha Yubi Naughty Pantsu Quite acquisition program. I think it has a nice ring to it. With my goal inside, I can't help but revel in its smell. Ooh, it smells like a sorry scratch and sniff stick. <laughs> well, it seems like my plan is coming along just swimmingly. I have already come up with a name for this plot, and that's the hardest part, right? Coming up with names is really hard. You know, when you're writing a story and you're trying to come up with the character's name, and you're like, fuck, I didn't think this would be that hard. But it is, it's very hard. It's as hard as my dick when I think about Mokuchan's pantsu. Oh, Jesus Christ. Didn't I say earlier that a third year like myself shouldn't be thinking dirty thoughts about a first year like Mokuchan? Fuck that noise. She's the only human being that acknowledges my existence, and for all I know, her vagina smells like strawberries. Delusions never hurt anybody, unless they do, but this is important. I'm not a cock- er, blah, I'm not a popular kid like Largo Senpai. It's been a few weeks now- oh, finally! It's been a few weeks now and the Mocha Yubi Nandi Pantsu Acquisition Program is just- going just as planned. I have not really thought of anything besides the name, but I th still think that's the most important part anyway. It makes it sound official. And I'm hoping some sort of inspiration will help me and direct me to my next course of action. It's hard being this smart, but someone's got to do it. Listen up, maggots, it's that time of year again. That's right, you come guzzling sacks of worthless scum. It's exactly what you thought it would be. You were your worst fucking nightmare. Uh, um, Sensei Sensei, are you having of your PTSD flashbacks again? You're not in the killing fields right now, you're at school. Of course I know, you insufferable piece of crap. This is the time when everything matters. It's the time of examinations. What could we possibly be... What could we possibly be tested on? Oh, Jesus, the, the... This has not been updated, has it? We didn't do a damn thing in this class besides coloring coloring books, big, build sculptures out of macaroni, and post YouTube content. 
God damn it. All of which require no thought. Oh, Jesus Christ. And are the mental equivalent of playing Operation without the batteries in the game board. Sensor, Sensor, what are we being tested on? You need to prove to the rest of the world that you have made progress and are on your way to living on your own without the need of an aid. What? I don't need an aid. I'm perfectly fine. Then why have you been eating pace for the past three minutes? Holy shit, he's right. <laughs> what have I become? I can't control my bowel movements. I eat pace. Next thing you know, I'll be licking the tile floor. Stop licking the tiling. Oh my god, holy shit, I'm such an asshole. <laughs> so, so listen up, you floor lickers. You're going to be tested on your ability to function like a normal human being in society. You will be tested on writing your name, dyeing your shoes, and knowing how to appropriate funds to an offshore account in Barbados. In the event you embezzle millions from a hedge fund brokerage firm. Sensei Sensei, I feel like one of those things doesn't really belong in that list. It doesn't matter what you think, we've all agreed you're a cockslap. Yeah, I still think that guy's a cockslap. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. So you cunt suckers need to study for this test and pass. Otherwise, you're not. I'm not going to be rehired next semester. None of us want that because if I'm fired, you will be the ones to pay. I know where you all live. I know where your families live. I will destroy you and everyone you love. There will be absolutely no trace of you left on this earth, and not a soul will, will live to mourn you. Well, that seems like it would put a few kinks in my mug, you being it. A few kinks, just a few, not all of them. I'm going to have to try to pass this test. You can try to slow me down, Sensei Sensei, but this is just a speed bump on the road to consensually probing Mokuchan's monochrome snatch pipe. I conceived a plan so that you wastes of space will actually pass. Even though that seems highly unlikely due to your performance records. I am going to sign each of you a study buddy. It will be the job of each study buddy to make sure that their partner passes. Otherwise, I will kill their family. Now, Ambassador, you will be exempt from this exam because I am well aware that this would not be a problem for you. Ambassador, I think he's talking about Largo Senpai. That guy's so weird, but all the ladies love him for some reason. I think it's because women love the strong silent type. The rest of you player goon and emo goon, you must buddy up and make sure you both pass. Oh, fucking lame. Hey, I thought we were friends, man. Yeah, we are, but now we're, you're going to have to come back to my house and meet my sister. Sister? Moku-chan? We might even have to have a sleepover. Sleepover? God, I hope my sister doesn't do that thing she always does. Could it be? Pansu? What? I knew my plan would all come together in the end. I am a genius. There she is. There she is. Just one. Well, this is not exactly how I featured this. I'm gonna have to motion. Oh no. I imagine this to be my perfect chance to acquire Moku Chan's Pansu as per the Moku Yubi Not Naughty Pansu Acquisition Program. Instead, I've been studying etymology with Emo Kun as Moku Chan goes on a rampage throughout the house wearing barely anything at all. This is totally absurd. Listen, dude, I'm sorry about all this. My sister is a handful. Moku Chan, cover your hoo ha, dear. Wait, is she. Is she. Her hoo ha is covered. How come you haven't read from your book this whole time, Player Coon? Why did you even bring it if you aren't going to use it? I don't know, I guess just for good measure. 
I am lying. I have been using the book to hide my erection. I don't want Emo-kun to know I have a thing for his sister. If he found out, I have no idea what he would do to me. I must hide my lust love, my desire is forbidden and yet so close. This must have been what it was like for Romeo and Juliet. Well, actually, I don't think Romeo and Juliet went to the same high school. And I don't think that Romeo yearned for Juliet's pants. Oh, great. And now that I ha think about it, their feelings were mutual. Okay, actually, it's nothing like Romeo and Juliet, but I tried. I tried. If anything, it's more like Icarus or something. It is nothing like Icarus. He flew into the sun. Wait, didn't Icarus die at the end of that story? I don't want to die. So did Romeo and Juliet. God, I'm horrible at mo metaphors. This is unfortunate. Dude, I need to dye my hair. My natural hair color is almost starting to come out of the roots. It's been at least three weeks since the last time I dyed it. What's this? Emo-kun leaving? Okay, sure, that sounds fine by me. I'm just letting you know because then I'll be gone and you'll be alone with my sister for about two hours. I will be away and won't be able to hear anything. I'm not sure why I'm telling you this information, but I just feel obligated to for some reason. PLOT! He's gone. Now I'm unloading with my beloved Mogu-chan. Oh my god, I didn't even see that in the background! For some reason, though, I feel immobilized. I can't do anything, but I must seize this day. Oh, Jesus. I hope you don't mind, player Kun, but I'm getting a little hungry. Mmm, this popsicle will hit the spot. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why does she do this? She's just trying to torture me. That sounds like a male doing the voice. There's no way she needs to lick that popsicle that essentially. I, I wouldn't make my move now, but uh, I know that the second I try to do something, Emo-kun will just come back in and ruin everything. No wonder no one likes him. He probably has emotional problems since he's such a shit stain. Hey, player Kun, do you know that it's healthy for a young woman to do a monthly breast exam? It helps me prevent breast cancer. I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to centrally caress. You don't have to say that you're going to centrally caress my your budding breasts in front of me. Oh, no. Oh, no, this isn't right. This isn't real life. This is just fantasy. My dick is screaming at me right now, and I have to shut it up. I wish I could confess my feelings for Moku-chan now, but I know Emo-kun wouldn't have it. Fuck Emo-kun, I have his stupid emotional ass. I mean, look at Moku-chan, I don't even care about her pants you right now. I would give anything to get a chance of that piece of tail. What did you do? What did he- What did- What the hell did he do? Um, okay, so I kind of burned part of my face off while I was dyeing my hair. I was also trying to straighten it. Apparently, I used too much product or something because my hair caught on fire and my face is kind of falling off. <sighs> right now. Sorry. I'm going to drive myself to the hospital now. Just letting you know, you guys are going to be alone for the rest of the day while I get facial reconstructions. <laughs> oh, God. Well, that's some bad luck, huh? It's just you and me now, player Coon. I gurgle incomprehensibly. Excuse me, my laundry's done. I'm just going to leave my pants out here. Oh, you sons of that. Okay, I see. She just took off her pants out. Why did she even do that? What is even happening? I feel like my entire life is just an absurd taming. Well, that's exactly what it is. Dating some visual novel with deplorable characters that break the fourth wall. There's almost no logic in this turn of events. But I don't give a fuck because I finally got me some pantsu. Yes! Finally! This is happening. I am making this happen. These pants who are so supple in my hands, I'm holding them gently like a newborn child. I'm massaging them as one would do with freshly ground hamburger meat, I think it's had. The feel of spandex against my fingers is almost orgasmic. I can see the pants who are also slightly stained. Could these be Moku-chan's dirty girly juices? Oh my god, this is going places that I don't want it to go. I'm going to smell them to find out. Oh, you disgusting fuck. These don't smell like strawberries at all. It kind of smells like chicken mc <laughs> McNuggets. Oh my god. Player Kun, Momoko Chan. I, I didn't. I mean, I was just. Thanks so much for helping me fold my laundry. Wow, she doesn't think I was doing something naughty. I really lucked out with that one. 
You know, Player Coon, you're a really nice boy. I feel like after all these days sitting next to you to awkwardly in lunch has made me feel a bit closer to you. You're something really special. I wish my only chin was as Sigoy as you. Well, you may be a nice boy, but your one-eyed treasure snake is saying otherwise. He's as hard as a rock on a hot, hot summer day in July. <laughs> Holy shit, I am such a baka. In my brief moment of foolishness, I stand up and reveal that I have been trying so hard to conceal for so long. My erect penis! It looks like you are pretty excited to see me. Teehee XD. It's a... Uh, oh, that's a... Uh, how can I have become so careless? I didn't want Mokuchin to know that I get erections. This is so embarrassing. No, it's not what you think. I think you're hot for me, Player Coon. Wink, wink. That's what it seems like to me, and I know things. I do have to say, though, your bulge is a lot bigger than my brother's, and he even wears skinny jeans, so it's a lot easier for me to say it. N not that I'm looking. She thinks I'm big? I mean, I never really thought about it. I never looked around at the other guys' dicks in the shower because, I mean, I'm not gay or anything. Personally, I find penises really gross looking and stuff. But if I am big, this is a highly prized sexual advantage. Does this mean that Mokuchin wants to see my penis for herself? Does she want to touch it or do naughty things with it in her mouth? Oh my, this is all so sudden. I'm not sure if I'm ready for this stage of our relationship. We've only just met about a week ago and already I have a smaller pants and she knows I get erections for her. This is... This is no good! Tycoon, I've never seen a dangly thing before with my own two eyes. My brother always hides this when I try to get a peek at it. I've always wondered what they're like, but of course you don't want to show me because that would make things awkward in a... <sighs> student aid buddy relationship, right? Although, maybe... Ah, uh, she's using mind games on me. Girls are evil like this. She comments on my man meat, says she wants to see it, but then says she doesn't want to see it. She is a sly one. Despite her corniness, I'm sure that right now she's thinking about getting a hot digging. I can't hold it anymore. This pent up frustration is even more bad than when I have backed up poo poo in my bee hole when I overdosed on Captain Crunch. How do you overdose on Captain Crunch? I know I can't take this pressure. It's building up. I'm going to explode. Here it is. It's about to happen. I'm about to take the next step to acquiring monkey shins and monochromatic pussy. Whip it out. Why don't you see for yourself? Pow! I proudly pull out my uh, my thing, but just as my pants... I almost said pants, but as my pants hit the floor, I hear a loud crash. Monkey Yubi Chen, the hour has arrived. An explicable quiet. Moku Chen is distracted by this inexplicable kawaii entity and doesn't even notice how big my dick is. No, it can't possibly be. Yes, Lord Shakushu Gukan, or Gokan, I don't know, has returned from the temporal prison of demon souls. For some reason, this inexplicable kawaii entity speaks like a very old Japanese man. This must mean that the army of Nega demons has begun reaping souls across the earth once again. What can we possibly do to stop them, Clamp Chan? In any case, there isn't much time. As you must have realized by now, there are nega demons harvesting souls across Japan. It seems as though that plan is to infiltrate high schools, like your own Sakura Blossom Academy, and use their mind control powers to trick others into thinking they are friendly, normal human beings. Be on the lookout for large-headed, scary monsters everywhere. Trust no one. But right now, that will... <coughs> that hurt. That will have to wait. We must make haste to the plan of dishappiness and close the oblivion gate. You're right. If we let the Nega Demons plant spawning pods in the sewer systems, oh my god, this is already too much. It will only be a matter of time before Japan is engulfed by darkness. You must transform. Quick, Mokujin. Transform into Neko Neko Princess. Why does this look more realistic? They took too much time on this. Okay, oh, I had to go. Whoa, what is this? Oh, no, what? What? What is, what is going on? I don't understand. Is there a gas leak in here? <laughs> My dick is still hanging out, and it seems as though Moki-chan has turned into some sort of cat-themed magical girl. And why did she suddenly become so well-drawn? 
holy fuck, Buckets, this is unprecedented. That's exactly what I thought. I thought, like, now she's all well drawn. Can we even afford her of this magnitude? Well, as long as there's no animation, I think you'll be fine. I thought I was the main character. Shouldn't I be well drawn? Hell, I'm not even drawn at all. Is the universe in danger or something? This seems like something right out of one of my Japanese enemies, but that kind of stuff doesn't happen in real life, right? I don't remember any of this. This is by far the strangest thing I have ever experienced. I'm not sure what I am supposed to feel right now. I mean, I am a little disappointed because I thought I was going to get my dick wet. But now I just feel embarrassed that I'm standing here half naked watching my student aid buddy transform into a magical girl. I need help. I'm lost. Not only do I have to rethink my place in the universe as well as what constitutes reality, but also my relationship with Mogu-chan, and now she's not well drawn anymore. Am I good enough to date a magical girl? Do you think this would affect a romantic relationship? I mean, would she change plans a lot to save the world and stuff? I, I don't cope very well with disappointment. I can imagine that right now it's our third anniversary and I buy her flowers and spend a lot of money on a limo and a fancy restaurant and everything and then she doesn't even show up. She's too busy slaying demons or something to even give me the time of day of the nerve of that girl. What a bitch. Well, I'm glad I found this out sooner rather than later. It's not good to keep secrets in such a serious long-term relationship. Although I think we can still work this out, it's going to take compromise on the part of both of us. Lots of patience and possibly some relationship counseling, but I really want to make this work. Well, there they go. Oh, they, yep, that's definitely what I thought it was in the background. Well, she's gone. I think she teleported to another dimension or something, and what the hell was that talking marshmallow thingy? marshmallow -y thing, or whatever it's at. What was his name? Clam Clamp-chan? Weird shit, man. Oh, Jesus Christ, that startled me. That sound was too loud. Hello, my face is reconstructed. Has anyone hit? Oh no. Why is there a dick out player coon and where's my sister? Oh no, he's going to think I'm a pervert. I bet he's going to kill me. Oh fuck. He's going to think I had my way with his sister. Brutally murdered her with an axe and threw her body in a wood chipper. He probably thinks I'm a serial killer. It will be a wonder if he doesn't kill me right now, right here and now. Well, in any case, I deserve it. It's all my fault for trying to make a pass at his little sister. I've decided that I'm just going to tell him the truth. Emo Kun, your sister's in here. She's, she's a magical girl and teleported to another dimension to fight demons or something. Oh, okay, that still doesn't explain why you're waving your dick in my face. Uh, I, I, I'm stuttering. I can't possibly think of a way out of this. Shh, let it happen. Emo Kun puts his finger on my mouth. It's okay, it's just you and me now. You don't have to hide your feelings anymore. Oh, Jesus, what? what? You know, I haven't made any moves myself because I'm pretty shy. I'm glad that you were brave enough to confess your lust to me. I have been en enraptured by your man musk ever since I first smelled your pants. Too. Wow, I think I just realized how creepy I have been to Mogu-chan. Whoops. Take me now, player coon, you big stud muffin, you. Your junk has a considerably larger amount of heft than my own. I'd like to take it for a test drive. He reaches out for my dick and I I use a mighty backhand to stop him from touching my junk. <laughs> I am screaming. I begin running down the street in fear of turning gay. This was the most terrifying experience ever. I devised a plan to run home and masturbate to Sailor Moon pornography in order to retain my heterosexuality. Yeah, yeah, that should work. That was a close one. Well, if you liked this video, leave a like, comment down below if you want to see more or what you want me to do next. Subscribe if you're new and may the odds be ever in your favor.